42 is a big number. It is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. A deck of 42 cards can be shuffled to produce a combination unseen by any human who has ever existed. There are 42 protons in molybdenum. The second 16-bit number in every TIFF file is 42. There are 42 laws in cricket. The asterisk is the ASCII code 42, and uh, it comes from the Greek word asteriskos, meaning little sar. Isn't that nice? You know what else is a little sar? The hydrogen bomb. Быстро увеличился в объеме. Через несколько секунд после взрыва диаметр пылевого столба составляет... Let's talk about brutality. The first nuclear weapon used by humans on Earth was fission bomb detonated in the New Mexican desert. The first nuclear weapon used on humans was Little Boy, dropped on Hiroshima by a B-29 bomber. Uh, that wasn't very nice, and it did um, injure a few people. Uh, President Truman, who, who uh, kind of did that, uh, had great difficulty in telling whether it was morally right or wrong. So, why is it wrong to kill someone and right to help them? Why is it wrong to see blood or to hurt people's feelings or to eat your friend's family? I mean, really, why can't we go around and burn a few daycare centers without people getting mad? Why did the police try to stop me? Why aren't we nice to each other? It's not like I'm going to feel pain if I stab someone, so why don't we stab people more often? Why do we have empathy? Perhaps helping someone else just makes them more likely to help you in the future. Maybe it's because building a community where everyone's helping each other makes it easier to live, because, I mean, obviously that seems to work out for us pretty well. Um, maybe it was because it's uh, safer to not kill everyone. Maybe it came from families where you need to care for each other. Uh, and maybe it came, f maybe, maybe there's aliens right and these aliens are just really nasty to each other and they just kill each other all the time and rip each other apart and it's awful and horrible and nothing ever gets done who knows uh well empathy is here in this in this world which is probably a good thing but it might not be here enough the holocaust happens uh people are still being tortured and killed in wars and horrible things uh, the rich people steal from poor people sometimes. Politicians are lying all the time. Uh, bodies are just piling up everywhere. Why are we so brutal to each other? Now, like, the only thing we can even do to, like, have world peace, to, like, hey, hey, we should be peaceful, like, with actually getting results, is to just go out in the middle of a city and starve yourself to death. Which I would not recommend, um, but... Uh, Gandhi did it. Um, also, people burn themselves in the street. That's really awful. I'm not gonna show a picture of that. Um, it seems that everyone wants world peace, but everyone has these different visions that sort of collide with each other, and so, ah, let's kill each other. War, yeah. Um, so for instance, the Soviets want communism, the United States wants democracy, and John from New Zealand wants infinite hexagonal perfection. Uh, the Soviets like John's idea for a minute. Yeah, right, you know, communism, oh, giant hexagons everywhere, that's pretty cool, right? So they team up with New Zealand. The United States doesn't really like John's idea, because hexagon tiling over the entire Earth does not really say freedom, or who will look at me, I'm American. Um, and so, Soviets disagree with the United States, and so they have a war. They kill each other. They, they, people die. Wow. It's awful. Um. It's just this horrible war, and so now it's just the Soviet Union and John from New Zealand. But some people in the Soviet Union are scared of John from New Zealand, and so they say, no. And so they break up. Now, it's the, the pro-New Zealand Soviets and the anti-New Zealand Soviets. And so now, the pro-New Zealand Soviets are fighting each other, and so now, now they're both weakened, and John from New Zealand takes over the entire world, and oh my goodness, there's nothing left but honeycomb tiling over the entire world. And it's it's beautiful, it's great, but it's also, the only person left is John, and he's, he's going to space to go turn Mars into a hexagon tile planet, and soon the entire universe, and we've just become an unstoppable force of nature, except clearly it's just John, and so, yeah. Um, well, who, who was right, then? Was it John? Do, do we need to turn the universe into hexagons? Was it 
the Soviets? Did we did we need communism? Is that it? Is it what that have stopped John from taking over the world? Uh, or was it the United States? You just want freedom, right? Because like freedom, let's take over the entire world and make it all the United States. Well, I mean, all of those things are good ideas in their own right in some way or another and so these people believe that yes my idea is right um but john from new zealand also believes this and well the other countries kind of had doubts john was kind of the only person in new zealand and so i mean you know new zealand fought harder and they won whether they were right or not so maybe next time you are in a fight with someone or a friend and you're considering having a war Maybe you should smile and walk away, right? Because we don't want the entire world to become a giant hexagonal tile thing. Uh, we, we don't really want John from New Zealand to prevail. Unless you like hexagons, I mean, that, that's fine.